The criminals have no right to live in society. A place in a desert area is specified for them to live. The names of the rebels are bad batches. They are given special numbers for their identification. There are two groups in this area. One was a group of normal people and one was a group of cannibals. We see some police officers bring a girl here. More than 5,000 people were evacuated there. There was a wall of steel net so that they could not run. The girl who was brought there was named Arlen. As the girl moves forward, she sees a board there. It was written on the board that the area after the board is not under America. That is, America will not be responsible for anything that happens to criminals in that region. Arlen had a page as well. That message consisted of, find the dream find the comfort. Comfort was the place where those bad batcher lived. After a while, Arlen sees a broken car. Arlen sits in the car for a while to relax. But he does not know that someone is approaching him. But it was too late to find out. Because they catch Arlen. But when she gets it, she sees that she is tied. In fact, two females kidnapped and brought her here. One of the girls is coming towards her with a saw. She starts removing her hand. She also removes her feet for making lunch. Because they belong to a cannibal group. There is nothing to eat in the desert so people become cannibals. People of the other group lived in comfort. Anyone who came to the desert, these cannibals would catch him and make the food. These cannibals kept themselves healthy. Took care of the health. Many people have been taken prisoner by these people. The hands and feet were not present. When they feel hungry, they catch humans. They separate any part of the body and eat it. Now Alan had become the victim too. She knew in that look that she's going to become the food. If she wants to live, she will have to run away. But it was difficult to escape because she lost an arm and a leg. And even she was also tied with a chain. Arlen knocks an idea, she imposes the waste material on her body. The next day, a cannibal lady comes to check Arlen. She finds Arlen in bad situation. Seeing it, that cannibal lady frees her. She takes Arlen with her to clean her. She goes to bring water. Taking advantage of it, Arlen hides a rod. While she was cleaning her, Arlen stabs her with that rod. That cannibal lady falls down. Then Arlen stabs her again and again. That cannibal lady dies. Arlen starts crawling to leave that place. Heading forward, she finds a skateboard, using which she could escape. It was a huge desert. Arlen gets tired as she moves a bit forward. She gets hungry and thirsty immensely. She faints due to this. There lived a man alone. He was neither from comfort group nor a cannibal. He was old therefore he didn't fall prey to cannibals. This man takes Arlen far away in a carriage. He brings Arlen to the comfort group. Then he goes away after dropping Arlen there. Then we see a scene from five months later. Where Arlen had a house and artificial foot as well. The lifestyle of the comfort group was entirely different. There were many facilities like shops, medical facilities and much more. Immediately after that, we are shown a cannibal family. The head of the family was named Miami Man who lived with his wife and daughter. He was a great painter. He was making a sketch of his daughter at that time. He goes to a girl whom he imprisoned. He kills her. He cuts her body into pieces for dinner. Then that family has dinner. The next day we see that Arlen was very upset due to the loss of her hand and foot. She was missing her body parts at that time. She was imagining that if her body was complete, it would be so good. She was angry with cannibals too because they made her like this. To take revenge on them, she takes a gun and leaves from there. There was another way of leaving from comfort. She uses the other way to escape. Miami man's wife planned to buy some stuff so she brings her daughter with her too. Both were finding some important stuff from the old stuff. Arlen sees them from some distance and goes to them. When Arlen acknowledges that both of them are cannibals so she decides to kill them. Miami's wife begs her to spare them as she didn't harm them. But Arlen doesn't give her an ear. She says that I also begged for my life from cannibals like you. They didn't felt pity for me and cut my hand. Saying this, Arlen shoots and kills Miami's wife. When she's dead, her daughter couldn't analyze that what happened to her mother. Because she wasn't speaking. Seeing this girl, Arlen feels pity for her so she decides not to kill her. She brings her to the comfort area. That old man sees them going to the comfort area. That girl likes a rabbit in the comfort. Therefore, Arlen purchases that teddy bear for her. Later, she brings that girl to her house. It was evening and Miami's wife and daughter weren't home yet. Therefore, he was worried. He sets out to find them. He reaches the where that old stuff was placed. He sees that his wife's body s being eaten by the crows. Her daughter was still missing. Suddenly, Miami looks at that old man. He was finding something from that old stuff. 
Miami shows a sketch of his daughter to that man and asks about her. He says that he'll tell you where she is but you'll have to accept a condition. He asks him to make a sketch of him. As Miami had no other option so he makes his sketch too. Then he gives him a clue by writing, find comfort, on his daughter's sketch. It was a sign that his daughter was in comfort. In the night, Arlen brings that girl to a club. There was the richest person in the club named, Dream. Everyone considered Dream the hero. Because he supplied drugs in the whole comfort. Shockingly, that drug was magical as its consumers used to step into the other world. His mind worked in a different direction. It felt like a human is dreaming. Therefore his name was Dream. He was also the mayor of comfort. At the party, Dream gives everyone that drug and Arlen take a drug too. Meanwhile, the rabbit of Miami's daughter gets fallen so she goes to pick it. In that effort, the girl goes a long way from Arlen. She goes to Dream. He takes her with him. Arlen starts finding that girl but she was being affected by that drug. She felt as if she was dreaming and everything seemed so beautiful to her. Finding that girl, she steps out of comfort. Her mind wasn't working properly. She couldn't realize that Miami was standing behind her. The next day, when Arlen becomes conscious she notices that she is very far away from comfort. Miami man was standing beside her. He had his artificial foot, without which she was unable to walk. Miami shows her the sketch of his daughter and asks if she has seen her. Arlen answers in no, I haven't seen her. She tells a lie here. No cannibal was allowed to enter comfort. If any cannibal comes near it, he gets shot. Therefore, Miami makes a deal with Arlen. He says that he'll spare your life but bring my daughter back from comfort. He warns her and says that if she didn't do it, he'll find and kill her. Arlen agrees. Then both of them set out for comfort. Heading forward, they find a cannibal man. He makes an agreement with Miami. He says that he'll give you fuel but let me eat this girl's foot to eat in return. That man blackmails Miami. He says that he'll kill Miami and then kidnap this girl. Therefore, he had to agree so he hands over Arlen to this cannibal. He was about to take Arlen with him when Miami throws a knife on him. It strikes that man. That man dies on the spot. Miami takes all of his stuff and cuts one of his hands and keeps it. Then both of them head to the destination, Comfort. But a huge hurricane appears and everything gets sandy. They stay there for some time. They both spend the time in tents there. Night falls till the hurricane stops. Miami takes out the hand of that man for the dinner. Arlen asks Miami that how did he become a bad bachelor or a cannibal. He tells that he came to America through a boat when he was 16. As I was an unauthorized person in America so I was sent here. Both suffered badly. Both got closer to each other. But suddenly someone injuries Miami by shooting him. Then a stranger comes and asks Arlen to go with him. Here Arlen thinks that should she go with this man or should stay with Miami. At last, she prefers going with this man. He was a man from comfort so she comes into the comfort area with him. But she wasn't feeling good after entering comfort. She wasn't happy in this area. She was remembering the time when Miami saved her life and took care of her. Arlen was missing the time they spent together. Because she started liking Miami. Therefore, she decides to go back to Miami to stay with him. She reaches there. She doesn't find Miami there but finds his sketchbook. She picks it up and comes back to comfort. That old man sat in the desert alone. Then he sees many crows flying at some distance. He understands that something is wrong there. When he goes near, he finds Miami who was fainted. He helps him. He catches a crow and lets Miami eat it so that he gains some energy. On the other side, Arlen was looking at his sketchbook. It had different sketches. It consisted sketch of Miami's daughter as well. Arlen decides to find that girl at any cost. She shows this sketch to everyone in comfort and asks about that girl. But no one had seen that girl. Arlen gets tired and sits down. Then she sees some ladies coming out of Dream's house. Miami's daughter was with a lady. Here we acknowledge that Dream adopted Miami's daughter as he had no child. Now Arlen knew that where she was. She thinks that she is unable to bring her back. Because Dream is powerful having all the authorities so he won't let this happen. She knocks on an idea and she goes to Dream's palace. Many women were making drugs there. Dream says that these drugs are the reason behind his success. Arlen says that I also want to work in this palace like these women. Dream agrees. A lady takes Arlen to a room. She makes an excuse to go to the washroom and then takes out a gun from her fake foot. She gunpoints her and makes her prisoner. She says to Dream that if you free this girl, so do I free this woman. That woman was Dream's wife so he had to accept what she said. 
Arlen, that lady, and that girl get out of here in a carriage. As they get out of the comfort area, Arlen frees that lady and lets her go. Then Arlen and that girl head towards the desert. There they find Miami Man who was much better after the help of that old man. Arlen gives that girl to Miami Man. She asks Miami to bring her with him as well. Miami refuses and explains to her that it's impossible. He says you'll die with us as we are cannibals and we can eat you someday. Therefore, it is better for you to go to your group, comfort. Arlen refuses to go back and says that I don't care about this, I just want you to stay with me because I like you. Miami's daughter says, I'm hungry and I want noodles, not the meat. Noodles were unavailable this a Miami man kills her rabbit and feeds her. They start living happily and here this film ends here. Thank you for watching, smiley face.